Welcome back, Electric Racers, to another episode of Pokemon Red Nuzlocke between myself, JJ Squirtle, and Yanks105. In the last episode, we defeated Lieutenant Surge in what was a shocking victory, if I say so myself. And we also got ourselves the Old Rod and got ourselves a Magikarp. Yes, I'm gonna say it again, a Magikarp. I figure we can always just catch one in the wild instead of paying $500 for one. But before we go any further, let me just show you guys the team real quick. Oh, the wrong button. A Drive the Beedrill at level 23 with the moves Poison Sting, Twin Needle, Cut, and Focus Energy. A Drive is how we were able to get into the third gym and defeat him easily. We have Fate the Spear Fero at level 23 with the moves Peck, Growl, Leer, and Fury Attack. Still waiting to see what new moves Fear Fate can learn for us. We have Soar the Pidgeotto at level 23 with the moves Gust, Quick Attack, and Whirlwind. I'm still waiting to see what the fourth move will be for Pidge for Soar, but that's pretty good so far. We have Sonar the Golbat at level 23 with the moves Leech Life, Supersonic, Bite, and Confuse Ray. <laughs> we have the Man, the Myth, and the Legend Venom the Nido King at level 25 with the moves Tackle, Thrash, Horn Attack, and Poison Sting. And last but not least, we have Flower the Ivysaur at level 25 with the moves Tackle, Poison Powder, Leech Seed, and Vine Whip. If you guys are all new to any of our channels, please hit that, hit those subscribe buttons and join either the Electric Racers, Yanks Nation, or the Squirtle Squad today. And I hope you guys enjoy the video, as always. Uh, we also got a bike voucher, which we'll be going to back to Cerulean today as well. And Old Rod, as you guys can see. So I didn't put any potions or anything in the PC, because I think we're doing really good. Let me just see if we have enough Pokeballs. Got enough Super Potions, but not enough Pokeballs. Okay. Sorry, I just had to do that real quick. Let's go get some Pokeballs real quick. Sorry about that. Let's actually get ourselves two encounters today. Who do I have up first? Um, let me actually just switch that to Sword. Only because we'll be getting one Pokemon first. In Diglett's Cave. Now, if you guys don't know, you can only be two Pokemon found in Diglett's Cave. Diglett and Dugtrio. What a surprise! Diglett dug this long tunnel. It goes right to Viridian City. And we're just gonna get our one encounter right in here. And it is going to be a Diglett. A level 18 Diglett, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, so I'll use Gust. Oh, well, there goes that encounter for this one. Because the Nuzlocke Lulz, you if you faint it, you that's your only shot. So we don't get a, a Diglett or Dug Tree, I'm afraid. So we'll just faint it for experience points again. Alright, so a gust once more. Still a critical hit. There goes the Diglett. Probably wasn't even needed for that crit. For the critical hit. 
Alright, so we don't get that encounter, but we can get one right in here as well. And it is a drowsy. A level 9 drowsy. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Um, we are like way overpowered for this thing. So, I am just going to be spamming Pokeballs. Okay, thank god, thank you, that didn't hit. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves Drowsy. Level 9 Drowsy. New Pokedex data will be added for Drowsy. Drowsy is a hypnosis Pokemon. 3 foot 3 and weighs 71 pounds. It puts enemies to sleep, then eats their dreams. Occasionally it gets sick for me in bad dreams. So I have a perfect nickname for this drowsy. And I'd like you guys to welcome. Dreamer. So Dreamer is the drowsy. Dreamers can be transferred to Bill's PC. And uh, yeah, I'll take care of all these trainers as well. Let's go. But don't cheat. I don't cheat, buddy. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. EG versus Youngster, who sends out an Ekans. A level 21 Ekans. Wow, they're like right on top of our levels now. Um, Let's send out Sonar. See if Sonar can take this out for us. Sonar is a Golbat. And of course, I'll be right back. Oop, never mind. Leech Life is super effective against it. It misses, um, rap again, so let's just bite it. We just take it out with a bite. Sora and Sonor gain experience points, and we defeated Youngster. Huh? That's not right. We got 315 for winning, ladies and gentlemen. Not too bad to start off today. Get some more trainers over here. I just became a trainer, but I think I can win. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. EG versus Youngster, who sends out a Sanchu. A level 19 Sandshrew. That is perfect for Flower, because Flower is super effective against Sandshrew. And of course, it's got lower accuracy. Come on, Flower, you can hit that. There we go. We hit it the second time. Crit super effective. There goes the Sandshrew. Sora and Flower gain experience points. Next up is a Zubat. Let's send out Sora again. Zubat is a level 19. Let's just go for Gust again. Unnecessary crit, but it gets the job done. Sora goes to level 24. 44 attack, 40 defense, 44 speed, 33 special. And we defeated Youngster. My Pokemon couldn't? Nope. We got 285 for winning, ladies and gentlemen. Not too bad at all. I am just going to put Sonar up front. I think there's a trainer over here. We already got that one. My Pokemon should be ready by now. Really, you think that the you, you think they are ready right now? We are against the youngster, ladies and gentlemen, who sends out a male Nidoran. That is perfect for Sonar. Let's just go for that Leech Life because it's super effective, and let's see if we can take this thing out or not. It used the poison thing for a crit to get rid of two of from us. 
Sorry about that, my headphones came out. So we got critical hit, super effective, takes out the Mutaland. So in order to gain experience points, next up is the Nido Arena, let's just stay on in. Go for another leech life on it. Critical hit, nice. And it's gonna use tackle on us. Let's just go for one more leech life again. It's gonna use a poison sting. So we're just about out of our leech life, it looks like. So there goes the Nido Reno. Sonora grows to level 24. 52 attack, 43 defense, 60 speed, 50 special. So, it, so Sonora is a physical attacker. And we defeated Youngster. Too much. Too young. We got 270 for winning. Alright, A Drive, you're gonna take the lead, buddy. We've had A Drive since he was a little weedle, ladies and gentlemen. Competition. I cannot get enough. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. EG versus. Gambler. Who sends out a Bell Sprout. A level 18 Bell Sprout. Alright, A Drive. Show, show this bell sprout to a needle. Super effective. There goes the bell sprout. Next up is an Oddish. Let's just stay on in. And super effective. There goes the Oddish. Eight. A drive getting experience points, and we defeated Gambler, ladies and gentlemen. I had a chance. We got 1,260 for winning. Not too bad at all. I have never won before. So this guy said he has always lost each and every battle he has. Let's see what Pokemon he's got. We are against a Gambler who sends out a Growlithe. A level 18 Growlithe. That could be a little bit of trouble for A Drive. So let's switch out to Fate. Growlithe hits the Ember. Let's just go for Pex. Not too bad. Fate was unaffected by Roar. So let's just take it out with two Pex. And there it goes. A Drive and Fate can experience points. Next up is a cute little Vulpix. Let's just stay on in. So basically, if he has two Fire Stones, his team would be good. Fear Attack hits four times, and there goes the Vulpix. It would defeat a Gambler. I saw this coming. We got 1,260 for winning, ladies and gentlemen. Not too bad at all. I am the best in my class. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. EG versus Youngster, who sent starts off with a level 17 Ratata. Let's just go for Twin Needle on this thing. Twin Needle hits two times, and there goes the Ratata. Third, second Ratata, let's just stay on in. Alright, A Drive, here's another Twin Needle attack on him. Two more, and there goes the Ratata. A Drive grows to level 24. 54 attack, 29 defense, 52 speed, 31 special. And then Eradicate's coming out. You know what, let's actually send out Fate and see if Fate can get to level 24. Alright, Fate. Fury attack. Ooh, no, it's quick attack. The Eradicate should still be a Ratata at level 17. Ratata don't evolve until level 20.
There goes to eradicate. Fate gains experience points and we defeated a youngster. Darn. I need to make my Pokemon stronger. We got 255 for winning. Not too bad at all. Hidden item right here is an escape rope. Switch feet up front. So we got our encounter for this for this one. That's good. Careful. I am laying down some cables. Sorry, buddy. Didn't realize that. We are against Engineer, who sends out Magnemite. Now, Fate is a bad matchup, so is Sonar and Sword. So let's, I'm just gonna send out Venom for this. Sonic Boom always does 20 damage. Let's just go for that Thrash. Level 21 Magnemite. Two Thrashes take out the Magnemite. Fate and Venom gain experience points and we defeated Engineer. That was electric. We got 1,050 for winning. Watch out for live wires. Thank you. We're against Engineer, who sends out a Magnemite. A level 18 Magnemite. Uh, yeah, let's send back out Venom again. Venom does really good against these things. 3 HP, huh? Alright, let's horn attack this thing. That did really good damage. One more horn attack and there goes the Magnemite. Second Magnemite. Okay. Alright, let's start using Thrash then. Ooh, that almost took it out. Critical hit takes away five, but we take out the Magnemite again. Venom grows to level 26. And next comes next coming out is a Magneton. Let's let Flower take care of this Magneton. Alright, Flower, use Vine Whip. Thundershock is not very effective. Alright, let's give it a poison powder. Alright, got it poisoned. Critical hit, that wasn't necessary. Alright, next we're gonna give it some leech seed. It was seeded. It uses Thundershock once more. Hurt by poison, and we gain some back with leech seed. Alright, now time to continue using Vine Whip on it. One more Vine Whip should take it out. And it dies. There goes the Magnemite. We defeated Engineer. Whoa. You spark plug. We got 900 for winning. Not too bad at all. <laughs> I have never lost. So if the guy up top is never won, and this guy is never lost, they must always be battling each other. This guy sends out a Voltorb, a level 18 Voltorb. Alright, Fate, the Fear Attack. Hit Voltorb three times, it uses Screech to harshly lower our defense by two stages. 
There goes the Voltorb. Fate grows to level 24. 53 attack, 41 defense, 60 speed, 40 special. Next up is a Magnemite. Let's actually let A Drive take care of this Magnemite for us. Alright, A Drive Twin Needle. Twin Needle hits two times. Let's actually finish it off with a Poison Sting. Critical hit, there goes the Magnemite. We defeat Gambler once again. My first loss. We got 1,260 for winning. And notice we have one more over here to do as well. One, possibly two. He's in the bathroom! Alright. Beds are done. Beds are ready for you, bud. Sorry about that. Win, lose, or draw? Uh, how about I win, you lose, buddy? Because that's just about what's gonna happen. We are against Gambler, who sends out a polywag. A level 18 polywag. That is absolutely perfect for flower. That is not very effective against us. Uh oh, we're just about out of vine whips as well, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, there goes the polywag. Fate grows, experience points, and so does flower. Next up is a horsey, let's just stay in. Can use a vine whip once more. Almost take it out. Wow. Alright, then let's just take it out with a tackle then. There it goes, horsey. Flower gains experience points, and we defeat a gambler. Acha! Didn't go my way. We got 1,260 for winning again. We are just doing amazing today, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you guys are all having an amazing day today, as I am myself. Tomorrow on the channel, we'll start a brand new series on the YouTube channel. I just got the game yesterday. Sorry about that, just had to heal up. Yeah, like I was saying, it's a brand new series that's gonna be starting up on the channel. It will be every other week. Cause of the system I will be playing it on. Gotta make our way back under the underground path again. Yeah, as you can see, we have to go back up to Cerulean real quick. Gotta have a drive use cut for us real quick. So we don't have to go the long way around. Because we have to go to the bike route. Grass and caves handle easily. Bike shop. Yes, we have to go into the bike shop. Because we have a bike voucher. Oh, that's... A bike voucher. Okay, here you go. We exchanged the bike voucher for a bicycle. How do you like your new bicycle? You can take it on a cycling road and in caves. That is awesome, buddy. So I'll be using the bike today as well so you guys can see how it looks. Let's actually just hop on the bike right now. Cute little bicycle, guys. 
Not too bad at all. And yes, we are going to be going to the cave entrance for Mount Moon today as well. Here's another trainer battle. You have Pokemon with you? Yes, I do. You are mine. Um, no, I'm sorry, but I won't be anybody's. Because this junior trainer's Pokemon will be going to the Pokemon Center. She, they start off with a level 18 Oddish. Alright, Fate, use Beck. Oddish 1 is out of the way. Next up is the Bell Sprout. Let's just stay on in with Fate today. This will be training for Fate. Because Fate, the flying types, will be needing will be needed for the next gym. Next up is a, a second Oddish. Back once more. There goes Oddish. And the final Pokemon is another Bellsprout. Let's just stay on and again. Alright, Fate. Like I was saying, this is all that gym. This gym coming up is going to be all flying types. For fun. All flying type Pokemon will be needed. That means you too. And we defeated Junior Trainer. You deceived me. We got 360 for winning. Down TM30. Bwahahaha. <laughs> Great. I was bored, eh? Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. EG versus... Hiker. Who sends out a Machop. Oh, that is absolutely perfect for fate. Because of Peck. <laughs> we almost take it out. Low kick isn't gonna does a decent amount. Let's take it out with a peck once more. So two pecks, there goes the Machop. Fate grows to level 25. 55 attack, 42 defense, 63 speed, 42 special. And it's trying to learn mirror move. Yes, I am going to be teaching Fate Mirror Move and getting rid of Growl finally. So Fate Learned Mirror Move. Next comes out as an Onyx. That's a job for Flower. And we def alright. We're just gonna use Vine Whip just to get rid of this Onyx. Flower grows to level 26. 48 attack. 40, 30 defense, 44 speed, 55 special. And we defeated Hiker as well. Keep it coming, eh? Oh wait, I'm out of Pokemon. Yes, you are. Sorry about that. We got 700 for winning, ladies and gentlemen. We are just doing really amazing so far today. So button sword back up front. And there's a few more trainers up here as well. And we are on Route 9 Cerulean City to Rock Tunnel. Who is that walking with those good looking Pokemon? Oh, a trainer who just got his third gym badge. And is on soon going to be the champion of the Cancer Region. We are against Junior Trainer. Who sends out a Growlithe. Level 21 Growlithe. Let's just use Gust on this thing. Get a good amount of damage done on it. Let's just keep using Gust on it. And it's just continually using Bite on us. So three Gusts. There goes the Growlithe. So it gains experience points. Next up is a Charmander. 
Let's just stay on in. So it uses Growl on a slower defense. Alright, that's enough. That was the second time we used it on us. Alright, Sora, take it out, please. Thank you. So Sora gains experience points, and we defeated Junior Trainer. Out like a light. Yep, you are. And we got 420 for winning. Keep walking. Yeah, that was funny. I got up early every day to raise my Pokemon from cocoons. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. E.G. versus Bug Catcher, who sends out a Beedrill. So there is our A Drive. Alright, so use Gust on his thing. So it uses Focus Energy, we're just gonna use Gust. Two Gusts, and there goes the Beedrill. There's a- here comes the second Beedrill. So let's just go for a Gust once more. Got any yellows. A Beedrill used Focus Energy again. We almost take it out that time. Fear attack hits three times on us. Not too bad. The second Gust just takes out the second Beedrill. Sora grows to level 25, 45 attack, 42 defense, 46 speed, 34 special, and we defeated Bugcatcher. What? What a total waste of time. We got 190 for winning. Not too bad at all. Alright, put Sonor up front next. And I'll get our encounter closer to the destination for today. I believe there's an item down here. And no there isn't, but there is a trainer here as well. Ha 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 ha! Come on, dude. What what do you want me to do, Beach? Are you trying to rush me on beating you? We are working on Psycho who sends out a Geodude. That could be a bit of trouble for us. Uh, Flower? I need your assistance, please, buddy. Alright, Vine Whip. That rock throw did way too much damage. So there goes the Geodude with a rock with a Vine Whip. So no one Flower gained experience points. Next up is an Onyx. Let's just stay on in. So, and there goes the Onyx as well with the Vine Whip. We defeated Hiker. Ha 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 ha! You beat me fair! We got 735 for winning, ladies and gentlemen. So everybody is getting nice and strong before a rock tunnel. That is what I like to see. Go, my super bug Pokemon. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. EG versus... Bug Catcher. Who sends out a Caterpie. Level 20 Caterpie. That should be a level 20 um, Butterfree. Let's just use Bite on these guys. They look like they'll be easy to beat. They just tackle to get rid of 30 of ours, but we just take it out with a second bite. So no gains experience points. Next up is a Weedle. Let's just stay on in. Uh, use Leech Life, because that's super effective against Weedle. And then we'll just finish it off with a bite. 
So there goes the Weedle. Then the third Pokemon is a Venonat. Again, let's just stay on in and go for bites. And then see if this does anything to you. It's actually super effective, alright. I didn't know that. Let's go for one more Leech Life just to take it out. And we got ourselves fully healed as well. So there goes the Venonat, so now I gained experience points, and we defeated Bugcatcher. My bugs. We got 200 for winning. Not too bad at all. And here's another trainer. I'm taking Rock Tunnel to go to Lavender. What a coincidence, buddy. So am I. And there's a Pokemon Center not that far from here at all. We're against Junior Trainer, who sends out a Rattata, a level 19 Rattata. Alright, so now I use Bite. We almost take it out. We're just gonna take it out with two bites. Next up is a Digalate. Let's just stay on in. That thing can't touch us with ground, I don't think. But I don't get a chance because it's weakest status, it's physical defense. So Sonar gains experience points, grows to level 25, uh, 54 attack, 45 defense, 63 speed, 52 special. So it's barely a physical attacker. Right, next up is an Atkins. Let's just stay right on in. And use another leech and use a leech life. We got our HP back, it's gonna use Bite on us, we're just gonna use Leech Life once more to restore and take out the Ekans. And then last but not least is the Sanchiro. Um, yeah I'll stay on in. Alright let's just go for Bites, try to get the flinches. Alright it's using Scratch on us. For Critical have to give it a 10 from us. We got the flinch. There goes the Sancho. We defeated Junior Trainer. Can't measure up. We got 380 for winning. Alright, we are just about done the episode, ladies and gentlemen. Ha ha ha! Aren't you a little toughy? Yes, yes I am. But I'm not little, I'm a big toughy. We are against Psyker, ladies and gentlemen, who sends out a Geodude at level 20. I probably should have had, um... A drive up front so he can get the experience points as well. But there, anyway, there goes the Geo critical hit. There probably wasn't needed. There goes the Geo dude. Next up is a Machop. Uh, switch to A drive and let A drive handle it. Not very effective, oh boy. Alright, let's just go for cuts then. That did good damage, and it got in yellow for us. Three cuts, and there goes the Machop. Next comes in out as another Geodude. Gonna stay in for one second and then switch out to to flower once more. It's just gonna use tackle on us now to get us in yellow. But there goes the uh, Geodude quite easily with one vine whip. Flower and A drive gain experience points and we defeated Hiker. What's that? We got 700 for winning. 
And if any of if you guys are if any of you guys have Discord, please join JJ's Discord server and my Discord server. Yeah! I'm recording! Yeah, so I was saying, if you guys join me and JJ's Discord, I'll have both of the links in the description below. Don't you dare condescend me. One more battle for, for this video, ladies and gentlemen, hopefully. And it is against a junior trainer who sends out a Meowth. A level 23 Meowth. Let's just go for the bites on this thing. Got a great damage on it. Two bites and there goes the little kitty cat. Unnecessary crit, but there it goes. And we defeat our junior trainer quite easily. No, you are too much. We have 460 for winning. <laughs> Gotta s not check out the stats. Switch a drive to up front. Because it is time for our encounter for this route. And on this route, we are going to encounter... Here we go. We are going to encounter a Voltorb. Finally, a, a decent electric type. A level 17 Voltorb. Uh, let's try for Kite and hopefully we do good. Oh, that is perfect. That is just perfect. Alright, let's go for the Pokeball on this thing. Alright, Voltorb was caught, ladies and gentlemen. New Pokéx data will be added for Voltorb. Voltorb is a ball Pokémon. It is 1 foot 8 and weighs 23 pounds. Usually found in power plants. It is easily mistaken for a Pokeball, they have zapped many people. So, I am going to give this a Voltorb a nickname, and I'd like you guys to welcome... Zaps the Voltorb. Zaps was transferred to Bell's PC for us. So there's the encounter for this route, ladies and gentlemen. You know what, let's actually do this one more battle right here as well. I've been to a Pokemon gym a few times, but I lose each time. Well, let's see what kind of Pokemon she has, ladies and gentlemen. EG versus Junior Trainer, who sends out a Pikachu. A level 20 Pikachu. So Pikachu would be good for the first, second gym. Let's go for that Twin Needle, though. Two Twin Needles, there goes the Pikachu. And then a Clefairy. So, Junior Trainer would do good in the second gym. Not quite the first gym. So, Critical Hit, let's just go for another Twin Needle. There goes the Clefairy. A Drive gains experience points, and we defeated Junior Trainer. Oh! Blew it again. We got 400 for winning. Thank you all so much for watching, if you guys are new to any of our channels, please hit the subscribe button, join the Electric Racers, Yanks Nation, and Squirtle Squad today. If you guys enjoyed the video and series so far, please hit that like button and let 
let me know in the comment section below what you guys thought of the video so far. Hope you all have a great day, and see you guys tomorrow for the first episode of the new series on the channel. Thank you all so much for watching. Have a great day, everybody.